Check this little guy out. 34 grams, 400 lumens, will run for an hour. If you put it on low, it'll run for eight hours. Has a strobe mode, USB-C rechargeable. It's pretty awesome. It has a TIR reflective lens, SST20 LED. There's low, double click for high, triple tap for strobe. That's all that you have to it. Pretty stinking cool. We're gonna go over this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. So in my humble opinion, this light is more of a light that you would use in a mechanical situation, but it can be used in other situations. I want to show you basically what it's like to look underneath the hood and we can see that it's pretty dark. Turn this on on low and we can see just about everywhere we want without any glare. I think that is awesome. If we double tap, I can go to high and I get a little bit of glare here. You can see it probably in the camera, but if we want to look around and really get into some higher light situations, we can. I don't think that it's necessary. If I just drop down to low here, it works just fine. I think that is what is perfect with this flashlight. While this can be used in a low light situation, no issue, that's low. That's only 18 lumens when we look around. So double tap, boom. This is 1800 candela. So it's not a lot of candela, but at the same point it is, you know, it's, it's good. It means that the light is going to give you a lot of lumens up close and it's better for a more floody situation than a spot. And I think this is pretty neat. You're gonna get 2.8 minutes at this point at the 408 lumens, and then you're gonna end up dropping down to 175 for 52 more minutes before it is dead. So that is not bad for a light that is this small when you really look at what it can put out. Now let's just drop down here to low. Significant difference, but not bad at all. Back to high. Pretty sweet. That kind of performance out of this small light is absolutely amazing. And this light is similar to a pencil light, maybe shorter, but at the same point, I can still hold it in my hand, click that button without issue, double tap easily, even triple tap if I want, but it's simple. It does have a lock mode on it. If you wanna push the tail cap and hold, it will then flash, letting you know that it's in lock mode like that. And then if we just push and hold again, it will come out of its lock mode. Very simple. But other than that, there's not much to do with this. If you turn the cap out, it will unscrew. You come around, this is the cable you get. You do not get a box. So you just get this cable, plug this guy in. Opposite side over here, there's a very tiny LED that will turn on red and it'll turn blue when it is done. Pretty easy to use. Screw this guy back in. You are IP rated, so this will take 1.5 meters underwater. It'll take a 1.5 meter drop. You can take off the tail or the uh, clip if you'd like. Tail switch is what I was thinking in my head is that it is only a tail switch. Very, very cool, small light. We go over a lot of flashlights on this channel, and this is one of them that I think many of you would be more interested in simply because it's so small. You can use it anywhere you want to, in a mechanical situation while you're working, you can carry it with you, you hardly even know what's in your pocket, you do not have to use that clip. You can just throw it in your pocket and let it do whatever it's gonna do, and you really don't know that it's down there. I love that fact, I like the fact that I can use it outside when needed, and it's got some good runtime. I think, You'll like this guy. It's not super expensive and it does have a decent warranty. I'll leave more information in a link in the description. As always, love to hear your comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.